Hello everyone! In my car I've had to replace the other CV joint many times and there are plenty of videos on the channel showing different ways to do it. But today, when I turn the steering wheel to the left and press the accelerator pedal, I can hear unpleasant clunking noises around the left wheel. Therefore, it seems that the other CV joint on the left side has gone bad again, the same one I replaced 4 years ago. So, in this video we'll once again focus on replacing the constant velocity joint, but this time I'll make it easier by doing the work without removing the wheel. To make the repair as a budget-friendly as possible, I decided to buy a left half axle assembly from a outer dismantling at a low cost, including the joints. Of course, there are risks that the CV joint may have some play, but I decided to take the chance and save some money since that same joint that was on my car cost four times more than the half shaft from disassembly. Based on the information I have, that half axle from an automatic transmission is slightly shorter than the one from a manual transmission. I have an Audi A6 C5 with a manual transmission, so I remove the half axle from my car, compare it with the one I bought, and if they are different lanes, I'll swap the other CV joint. Removing the half axle is not complicated at all. It's enough to unscrew the bolts on the transmission side and one bolt on the wheel hub side. I removed the half axle. The reason for the joint scrunching sound was a torn dust boot, allowing water and sand to enter the CV joint. When comparing the half axle, it's evident that they have different lanes, so I'll keep the inner joint as a spare and swap the other joints. I also decided to check the joints for any play. On my half axle the inner CV joint has no play, but the outer one has significant play. Then I secured half axle from this assembly and checked the joints. As you can see, they fit very tightly with no play. I removed the CV joint by screwing a bolt into it. It's clear that the retaining ring was getting in the way during removal, so I had to apply a lot of force. It was challenging, but I managed to remove the joint. Inside there was no sand or dirt, so I added a little grace and installed it on my half axle. Next, I cleaned the dust boot from the grace. It turned it out to be an original part. I decided not to use a new dust boot. It was rigid and could potently tear quickly. After that, I cleaned the CV joint and it also turned out to be an original component. That's great, so I added a bit of new grace. No, I can remove the faulty joint.
For some reason, I had even more trouble with my half axle. I tried everything to remove the CV joint and in the end I had to cut it off. By the way, take a look at the wear on the inner race. Then it became clear why I couldn't remove the joint. It turned out the retaining rings was causing the obstruction. In the future, try not to use such retaining rings and opt for the original ones instead. Pay attention to ensure that the joint reaches its final position during assembly. To achieve this, make sure the washers are snug against each other. Then clean all the grooves in the joint housing from the grease and install the dust boot. Don't forget to add new grease as well. I've put on the dust boot, then I put on the house clamps. After that, I put the half axle back on the car and checking the joint operation. As you can see, the crunching noise is gone and I managed to save money on the repair. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.